Hello! I'm Jerry Rigged, and this is the Duskers Daily Challenge for August 20th, 2016. Uh, looking at the leaderboard, we have one person who washed out. No pun, because they're a pirate. So, this could be a dangerous one. We'll see. Starting with Stealth, which is always my favorite. We had two infestation types on a barge B. Barge means there's a good chance of, hey, look. Okay, you're gonna have to get out of the way, buddy. Wow, okay. So, hoping there isn't a vent in this room, because I want to kind of use it for space. There isn't, good. Well, that could be fantastically bad for Drone 2. And then gathering all of this delicious scrap in the first room. I might just leave now. I'm not going to leave now. It might be a better idea, but I'm not going to leave now. Now, I only have two rooms powered right now. Two extra rooms power, I guess. Oh, and no ship upgrades. So, that's bad. Coming straight in here. Charge on through. And just moving room for room. Always want to watch out for that. Open door means something else can come through. Now, I can't... I can't... I don't want to get the fuel yet just because I don't want to risk something going through. Okay, I know one infestation type, and I have another generator. That's actually really good. So, I can actually check out... <sighs> That's kind of bad. So, here's the thing. This either... Okay. 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 That's great, because I know my two infestation types, which means I'm actually safe now. There's two infestation types, so I do not have Swarm. You can check that room again. The bad news is that means I don't have any way to kill the... Kill that turret. Which makes me sad, really. But, I got some fuel. Also means this is going to be a short ship. Come on, buddy. You're making me nervous. So, I guess the question is, am I forgetting anything? I have stealth. 
I have no terminals to access. Wow. This is, I've said this before, and in case this is your first time watching the, my videos, at least my Dusker's challenges, this is why I like stealth. Stealth allows you to push into a room and explore it. If you have motion, then you could be left waiting for something to move into a new room, or you could be left with a room that you can't scan, so you open a door and hope something moves through, which takes time. With Lure, I, I know I've had my detractors on this, but Lure really just comes down to, again, taking time. Because you are going into a, you're you're setting a lure, then you're leaving a room, and you're waiting for something to come through. Sensor is actually the same way, but it's not as bad. And overall, that just means you're waiting. You're waiting. You're waiting. You're waiting. When you have stealth, wanted to call it sensor for a moment there. When you have stealth. You check a door, and the only thing you're really doing with stealth is you're opening a door, you're stealthed, you open a door, you go through it, you close the door. As long as you're not in a tiny room, you're safe for a few, you know, for a little while, for a few seconds. So you can push through a ship very quickly, especially a small one like this, which that's the power of stealth. It means there's less chance for something to go wrong. As long as you are mindful of your stealth levels, of your charge level, you can run into a room and run out. I ran into R5, and I said, okay, there's a vent. I need to check R5. And when I got to the end, I saw D7 was open, so I checked R6. And I still had enough charge to get out of R6 after checking the whole room. So, you've actually got a decent amount of charge on stealth. You just have to be smart in how you use it. So, short ship, small ship, but a good score. 785, I got some scrap, I got out, I didn't take any damage. I wish I had mine. I wish I had mine or something to take out that, t that sentry. But, unfortunately, I did not. And that's how you lose scrap. I mean, you don't lose scrap. I just didn't get scrap. There, But there wasn't scrap to get. Um, that's why you always want to have an offensive option, if possible. Daily challenge, you usually don't get that. But in your day-to-day -day campaign game, it's a good idea to have an offensive option. So, I do hope you enjoyed the admittedly short video. <clears throat> Excuse me, throat. Admittedly short video, and have a good day.